The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. As we get started in the day, let me get some stuff moved around here. Uh, what do we have? Well, is that right? Just wanted to make sure. Down 91 on the S&P cash. Uh, on our way, I suspect, to the low 4100s, uh, as we've talked about for the last 10 days or so. Uh, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648. But uh, pretty much uh, what happens uh, in every market, and that is a lot of people make a lot of money. Uh, they are unsure when the market uh, fundamentals or funny mentals actually change in the way the market does. Uh, especially technical traders tend to uh, come and go uh, and... Uh, they most of them haven't been through a real bear market and uh we've got one now but uh you know what uh, i've watched uh, trading rooms uh since uh 2000 i get wiped out what two three times uh and it is generally the ability not to change your opinion of the market uh, it looks like most of the people in the uh, Tiger's Den are doing fairly well and managing. But uh, generally, the unwashed uh, masses that think that they're smart, uh, there's the old saying that everybody's a genius on the way up. Uh, not so much on the way down. They tend to give away a lot of money. I remember there were a bunch of people uh, in the first big gold run uh, that gave away almost everything they made in six years on the pullback. Uh, as uh, James Grant uh, said once, it's important to buy gold, but it's more important to sell it. Uh, if you're a trader and you're thinking about something less than 20 years, uh, don't conf uh, conflate uh, investing with trading. Um, eventually, you'll be right, probably. But uh, you're buying stuff to sell it. You're selling stuff, if you're going short, uh, to buy it back at a lot lower, lower price. Um uh, don't uh, confuse uh, a uh, date with a uh, with a wedding. I think is probably the best way to say. But uh, irrevocably, is that an even or? Uh, you're going to have markets in which uh, people don't believe a market can come back. Now, a year ago or two years ago, uh, when everything uh, the wheels fell off the wagon, uh, everybody was kind of in shock. Uh, and, of course, the market repaired itself with uh, huge amounts, uh, fire hose, uh, 747, uh, and about uh, a fleet of helicopters dumping cash everywhere. Now we're on the opposite side of that. And most people uh, that have spent probably since 2010 watching the Fed go out. And uh, when I was a Boy Scout, they called it scout juice. Uh, they would throw uh, lighter fluid on the fire to get it started. Uh, and uh, they've been every time it looked like the fire was going to go out because the wood was a little wet. Uh, they were back with the uh, with the uh, what's the lighter fluid? Well, I can still smell that stuff in my nose and I haven't even seen it in probably 20 years. Everybody uses those little chimney fires, start fire starters now. So your burger doesn't smell like gasoline. I'll think about it in a minute. Uh <laughs> Never under the head. We use gasoline. Amazing quick response. Yeah. Okay. So uh, they're well. They're more than willing to let the uh, markets burn here. They gave you a whole lot of warning, and now uh, we've got the reality of a market, uh, and people kind of still fighting it. Um, I did have kind of some words. Uh, uh, of a market this morning. I didn't put it exactly in there the way I wanted, but uh, let me pull up the newsletter because I'll go back and look and see exactly how I put it. 
Okay. Get back here. Okay. Uh, VIX put call. Didn't signal any huge put buying yesterday. People didn't get all short. I'm suspecting that what we're going to see is a lot of people getting short right at the lows because you know what? The people throw in the towel and go short almost always when the market's at least short-term bo uh, bottoming. Now, I use my sector oscillators. Those are uh, various uh, three different oscillators uh, and uh, they're really just a, the uh, three by threes and uh, nine day moving averages and stuff like that over a period of time. But generally, when those first hit the lows, you've got about three or four or five days when you've got a washout before you find some kind of low. Uh, I was also looking at things like the Amex uh, trend. And when we found lows before, it's either been something uh, past four and, of course, uh, something below two, uh, 0.25. And it was a 0.88 yesterday, which made me think, uh, along with the put-call ratio, that there wasn't any kind of low in yet. Generally, you're going to see uh, at highs very tough to find, or much tougher. I'm going to say at least four times tougher uh, to uh, find a high than it is a low. In a low, everybody does pretty much, not everybody, I would say 80% of the people do the wrong thing at the wrong time. And those signals are pretty bright and brilliant. We have not seen the people throwing the baby out with a bathwater quite yet. Uh, my first level for a check, and I said it earlier, I think around lunch, and that is uh, my model shows about an 85% chance that we test uh, 4110 in the S&P cash. That's up from a week ago at about 70%, still much better than a flip of a coin. You don't get that. 85, very, very high. Um, and that's a combination of uh, all the stuff I look at. I've got kind of a model. Is it always perfect? No. Uh, but is it pretty good? Uh, damn straight it is. 877-927-6648. Uh, burgers taste like gasoline. <laughs> uh, Ozark lighter fluid. Um, maybe that was it. Uh, eh, can't do it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Ozark lighter fluid. Uh, you know, I've gone to kind of the, uh, George Foreman grill. Uh, if I'm not cooking on uh, propane these days. So that's why I probably haven't tasted it in 20 years. But, I, you know, I can still, that smell, that gasoline smell, it smells like burgers. Anyway, a little nod to the uh, uh, apocalypse now. Uh, anyway, uh, a lot of stuff we're looking at. I had it in the newsletter this morning, as always. Uh, volume was higher. It's the first time it really kind of ticked out of it. Uh, we had a little over 13 billion shares compared to 12 billion. It wasn't a huge signal, uh, but at the same time, we didn't see anything as we approached these lows where the volume is uh, decreasing. Uh, below 18 billion shares, you could find a low. I think you're looking at uh, 410 on the spies and hopefully 100 on the SP. We shall return like MacArthur to the Philippines. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Someone's going deep here, talking about the white gas, Coleman stove. Remember that stuff? Now, of course, everything's electric. Uh, but that's it. Uh, Tesla getting ugly. It was ugly before. Uh, but we'll look at that today, too. It's just uh, at the very end of the uh, downside, which we're probably getting fairly close when we see the big stocks like this start to fall. Um, but uh, I want to see some real uh, demoralization, as uh, Jesse Livermore said. Probably time to cover. There's probably a huge amount of money to be made. Uh, when we do find a low, generally the lows that set up the way that we've got these things with huge down days have uh, a, probably an up day on like a Friday where everybody's short. Everybody's finally dumped in. You get about the first hour or two on a Friday. Now, maybe it's a week from Friday, uh, but you're going to have a rip into the close that's just amazing. A rip your face off rally and it can give it all up the next Monday. But uh, to have calls on a day like that, uh, and again, you're not going to have any premium. Whatever premium you had in the morning, it will be gone, if you, even down a dime by the time you get to the close. But a lot of times you'll have, I'm going to say, a 100, 150-point rip. And I don't know when that's going to be, but it, it will be when we have the, the lows in. It'll probably all be in a day and give half of it back the day after. But uh, if we're lucky enough to have it on a Friday, I'll be able to pick up some calls. And uh, eh, you already know which number I'm looking at, which is that 41, low 4100s and uh, uh, 410 on the spy. Yes, everybody knows it smells like victory or teen spirit or uh, a dead foot. You never know. 877-927-6648. Uh, I got a question about trading the displace uh, three period moving average. You shown examples of selling the second breach failed recovery and a close below the moving average from an uptrend. You also have the same for downtrends by the second pierce and failed recovery. I do. I just don't have anything I can look up now. Uh, the reason that I like the ones at the highs is uh, that it's so hard to catch a high. And that's one of the few patterns uh, that actually is great. As I said, generally, it's three or four times easier to buy a low. 
Uh, but that one of the patterns at the highs, almost always uh, you can pick one of 10 things that'll show you a low is in. Uh, there aren't many things out there that'll show you a high is in. Uh, but generally, the things I look for uh, on a low, a lot more than double repo patterns uh, for lows, uh, is that massive amount of short selling. Generally, like I said, people will all dive in on the hand grenade just when the time is uh, right for it to go higher. Uh, they can't, uh, it's almost like an obsession that I've seen over the years. And everybody that's got my newsletter or listened to the show for a long time knows when I'm uh, on the hunt, when the game is afoot, if you are uh, talking about uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, and that is when everybody decides to go from one side of the boat to the other. It's generally time, uh, what's it, uh, what was, uh, I'm trying to remember who it was. Oh, uh, Mark Twain. When everybody uh, tends to have the same idea, it's time to pause and reflect. I kind of look at that and say, yeah, when everybody decides that it's all time to go short, generally that's when you get the rip your face off rally. 877-927-6648. Uh, is the number to call, but uh, yes, uh, I have bought uh, um, uh, three gaps to the downside, but generally you want to be in a bull market. If you've had a bunch of uh, double repo patterns that worked at the top, the chances of them working right after that, probably not as good. But uh, I do like to see uh, off the bottom uh, that consolidation sideways, a close above, the three by three, another close below it, and then buy the next move back above it. Um, so that it, there is that kind of uh, pattern. Uh, so that it does work. But again, like I said, generally after you come down, uh, the chances of going up in a V bottom uh, as hard as the volume spin are pretty low. You want to see very light volume back into the low. Maybe we get that in the next couple of days. Uh, but generally, it does not happen. So uh, there you go, Zach. Thanks for the email. Uh, two, two, two. Okay. Uh, yeah, I've got that. I just don't play it. Uh, do you think we bounce at the end of the day with Microsoft and Google delivering good earnings after the close? Uh, no, I do not. I think if we're going to bounce, it's after hours. Uh, yeah, could we? Yes. But uh, I'm not a big fan out here of saying that uh, that's it. Uh, I saw what already I saw this morning, which is the VIX put call ratio didn't signal any huge put buying. A medium term low is still probably not in. Most of the sector oscillators suggested a low is not in until uh, next week. And that is iffy. Uh, volume increase suggesting yesterday's low gets retested quickly this morning. And all the all clear will not occur until we test the 4110 on the S&P cash. That's from my newsletter this morning. I have one thing that was interesting, and I haven't acted on it, but if we find some kind of a test here in the next day, it is one of the ones I am looking at uh, in a very depressed uh, part of the market uh, where people are despondent as far as I can tell. And uh, that makes me want to, uh, that's one of the few things that one wants, makes me want to buy is when everybody is uh, very sour. Uh, as they say, uh, sell on the trumpets, uh, buy on the cannons, which is an old French thing. Uh, da, da, da. You show an example, okay, we saw that. In your opinion, what's the best way to trade options around max pain and weekly opera, uh, expiration? Um, Weekly uh, expiration, um, and again, I do what most people think is max pain. It is not. Uh, if you see me ever show it, um, there's uh, a lot of dog legs or hockey sticks in the distribution, and that's what I look at a great deal more than the uh, X marks the spot because that doesn't tend to work uh, as well as a lot of people think it, did, it does. They haven't looked a little farther into the data. Uh, but uh, when I get into that, but uh, weekly opera uh, uh, expiration, maybe on stocks like Apple and Microsoft, um, I'm a little bit better on. But uh, a lot of times there just aren't enough options to give you a good signal on the weeklies. That's not always. But generally, if you look at the other ones, uh, BBQ. 
Let's take a look at that. What is BBQ? Uh, uh, I just can't think of it at the moment. Is that actually anything? BBQ Holdings, okay. Uh, entry below 14. Well, you had a 50% retracement. You're back up. You got a bearish engulfing today. Um, in a bear market, I want a low, which would be $12 in this case, the March 11th low before I did anything. Again, stocks with 40,000 shares. You might as well, as far as I'm concerned, you might as well be throwing dice, flipping quarters. I don't think you can for what I do. Isn't a lot of correlation price and stock you don't trade hard at all. We'll be back in a The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Uh, I don't know exactly what this is for Dave. Uh, was there something above this? Uh, okay, there it is. Yeah, I saw it. Uh, now I'm not familiar with it, but I'll take a look at it during the next breaks. Uh, chart Fest each weekend. Okay, I'll take a look at it. Uh, anyway, a uh, question about the Yeti. Um, you know, the uh, abominable snowman. And uh, what's the other one? 
uh, the guy up in the northwest. Uh, what's the other one? You got the Yeti and the, uh, uh, I mean, you got the uh, Bombadil Smo- uh, the Snowman, and uh, what is that? Uh, the other guy, maybe somebody, Sasquatch. Uh, those guys get most of the love. Uh, Yeti doesn't care, though. Eh, play on words there. Uh, I just couldn't remember all the joke. <laughs> Bigfoot. Okay. Yeah, Bigfoot. Uh, 877-927-6648. Anyway, Yeti. Uh, not Yeti. Uh, is this going to come out? And the uh, question was uh, buying puts on it. You know, I would have said that the close back below uh, the uh, high up here was uh, August 6th with uh, 1.8 million shares last year. Uh, you got into November 5th with 935,000 shares. So about half of it. That's what I like. Now you close back below it and you're going to see the double repo pattern come up right here. And that's what I like uh, to go after. Um, going back into this so you can look at it. This is uh, October 14th of 2021. And you go up for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 days above it. Um, you really never get uh, very close to ki- kicking it. Uh, you have the first failure, uh, which starts on the 11th or no, the 10th of November. You go underneath it a few days. You go back above it. Then the next uh, close below it, um, you generally get a little bit more volume. You didn't have much there, so I didn't pull the trigger. But, you know, this starts the move generally into a massive failure mode in this. And we've talked about why I don't think or never thought uh, this was a great investment long term. Um, but uh, you don't always catch these things. But uh, I like the top formation in this. I don't see a whole lot out here that says you want to buy it. Uh, you want to see some kind of low come in at about 800,000 shares. The February 24th low was uh, $54 at 1.7 million shares. Um, even yesterday, you had uh, 1.5 million shares. That isn't a big enough shrink out here for me to get involved and think uh, that there's anything to the upside. It's not enough, and it didn't break with more volume. So I'm not on the other side, neither fish nor fowl on Yeti. I think there are much better shorts out there in the market. Okay, <laughs> the only gains we're getting is around our belts. Uh, bada bing, bada bomb. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, Yeti's all a marketing company. Uh, actually, kind of interesting on YouTube, there are a lot of guys making Yeti coolers out of uh, regular coolers. They're just going and getting that expansing, uh, expansive foam and drilling into the thing and filling up the uh, coolers uh, like Coleman, $30 Coleman uh, uh, coolers and uh, $10 worth of uh, expanding foam and, uh, and getting four or five days of ice in the same thing. I just never thought that foam was that expensive and why Col- uh, Coleman and the rest of the companies just didn't think about putting it in there. Certainly the fiberglass is more expensive than the molds uh, that Yeti uses. But uh, like I said, you can buy the same thing today uh, with a uh, member's mark on it from Sam's Club for half the price. And that's probably still uh, rather expensive for what you get. But uh, it's they have done very good in marketing. Anyway, I don't see anything out here. Uh, it's neither fish nor fowl. You don't have a great sign of a low. You don't have a great sign of breaking uh, a pre- the previous low with more volume. Um, so neither fish nor fowl. I would go elsewhere. Uh, 877-927-6648. Uh, the phone lines are totally booked. But if you call now, I'm told by Larry Pezzavento, you might get in. Okay. Go through a couple of these emails here and see if there's anything new that I haven't hit. Okay. Uh, snap, crackle, and pop. Can anybody 
uh, in the den or uh, out there, email me with the name of the fourth one from the Rice Krispies. Snack, snap, crackle, and pop. Yet there was one. He was only around for a year. What is the fourth member? Uh, where is a good sign on uh, Snap? You're almost there. Uh, I love to see these stocks hit with uh, t -t -t with uh, double gaps right to the center of them. Twenty six bucks uh, is exactly what you're uh, looking for. Um, you got uh, 26 million shares to 32, 33 million shares right now. Um, the energy was uh, higher from the April 5th low down to the April 26th, which means that you may have some consolidation. Uh, and that may take a couple more days. But what you want is uh, to hit 26 bucks, 26.50, uh, something like that. You want all the volume to come out. You want something like a day with about 10 million shares. And a close back above the 3x3 three three would be something that would be a clincher. Uh, for a bounce, and that bounce could take you to 30 to 33 bucks. So not a bad-looking chart. I dislike all the energy, though, off that high on April 5th down to this low. Uh, again, I think we're going to find some kind of low. I think you're going to get a rip-your-face-off rally, maybe Friday, maybe a week from Friday, maybe two weeks from Friday. Um, they'll set something up. Everybody, as soon as I see everybody getting short, I'll start uh, talking about it, but uh, I have you not set that, seen that yet. Uh, until you have a lot of shorts, the risk reward is always significantly to the downside because if everybody just walks away, there's nobody to buy. I love it when there are a lot of people short. Even if I'm wrong, I'm probably not going to lose that much money because there's going to be somebody wanting to cover the short position. It may be early, but I'll be able to get out without uh, losing a uh, 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 losing a eye. Oh, I have a call. Uh, I'm announcing that we have a call. John in South Carolina, how are you doing today? Good, Dave. How are you? I appreciate you taking my call. Hey, I, Loaded I just for have bear. A quick, I just have a quick option question. Uh, you might have covered this before some, but I, I haven't heard. When you're doing short-term puts and calls for two or three days, do you buy? Do you generally buy at the money, or you, do you get out of the money a good little ways? How do you determine that kind of placement? We'll answer that. Okay. <laughs> after the break. Back All right. Thanks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Peter White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. On the line, our caller. I think we do. Yes. Okay. So, what do you? Th you're there's two things. If you're talking two or three days, it depends on what you're talking about. Are you talking about two or three days before expiration, the monthly expiration, the Friday expiration, or just two or three days in general? Just two or three days in general. And do you generally? Do you generally stay in the current month, or you maybe go out a month? I mean, you know, if if you're just playing okay, here's, your pops here's, for just two or three days, like I guess the the delta changes some if you go out further. Yeah, I guess there, there's two ways that I I look at it. Either I know that there's some kind of long term, or yeah. I'm fairly short. That there's a short term. When a long term, right. I'll probably buy something at the money. When I'm buying something, we'll say, a couple of days before it expires, I almost always buy way, not way, but at least some out of the money puts and calls. Nice. So yeah. okay. uh, if, it, if it's a long term, it's generally, I know that it's probably going to move. I don't know quite when. I don't have a real heads up for the work I do in options uh, for our, op for my options charts. Um, but you know, the one thing is, uh, you know, those are kind of like a general guide, uh, which is uh, a lot more like a, uh, uh, what is that? Uh, I'm trying to think, uh, do we have it here? Uh, oh, that's it here. The code is more what you call guidelines, the natural <laughs> Yes, that's what I was looking for. More like a guideline than actual rules. Um, my uh, flight instructor, no, it wasn't. It was the FAA check ride inspector uh, who told me uh, procedures uh, will save your life until you, until you figure out uh, that uh, you need to avoid them in some specific reason. Uh, all those rules are just there to keep you alive until you gain experience. And uh, I kind of took that to heart <laughs> a lot. Uh, so yeah. there's there's nothing that uh, overrides uh, better judgment uh, in the way of rules, but rules keep you out of trouble. You've got to have uh, special permission uh, to avoid your own rules. Uh, most people, uh, you know, you need to have some kind of abiding belief, not just a, uh, a kind of a, it's kind of like, uh, what is it, uh, murder? Uh, you got to have uh, what uh, a uh, uh, you know if you just uh, uh, reasonable doubt, right? Opposed right. to uh, opposed yeah. to somebody in a shoplifting. Well, a guy looks shifty. We'll give him the we'll give him the chair, right? <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. you've got you got to know a lot more about it. Uh, but uh, uh, again, what I'm looking for is some kind of significant move. Now, on a short-term basis, I'm looking for massive shorting or zero shorting. I want everybody out of it at the top, 
and I want everybody on the opposite side, it's going lower at the bottom. And that's generally when I'll look for things like uh, Friday expirations and stuff. If we're going into options expiration, I know that, you know, they'll probably hang us out to Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. So I don't like to get in those weeks. Your odds are pretty bad on Monday and Tuesday, maybe even into Wednesday. They get a little better on Thursday. And if you can wait till 11 o'clock on Friday, uh, pretty good. I think in the den on Friday, um, I was uh, doing some fast finger trading. Uh, and uh, one of the dinners uh, had a what I thought was a very good risk reward. Uh, so I bought the calls and uh, it went to exactly where I thought it was and sold it. And then, of course, I don't know, 20, now, 30 now, minutes. When you, when you bought those calls, were they in the current month or? or you, they, yeah, they I expired. Mean, you, they expired that day at four. Oh, right? <laughs> that's, that's cutting it pretty close, huh? Well, it is, but I, was, I had a high probability that the, where the uh, spies were going to close, so I went ahead and took them. I think it was, uh, uh, yeah. I don't know, it was a three was, or four is, points. Is it, a, is it a better delta than going to the next week? or, 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 or No, or it, it, it's the risk-reward, you know, you 10 to 1 or something, right? You buy something right, for okay. a quarter and sell it for two bucks, that's, right. that's you know. But you have to have a fairly good abiding belief. I was watching the options all day long, right? Right. Now, of course, it probably should have closed at that level. But with like five minutes to go, the Fed came in and threw an anvil to the market and, <laughs> right. and knocked the spies down four points. Well, right. as soon as it hit my target, I was out. And some of the people were talking about, as I say often, sell when you can, not when you have to. Right. right. They they were doing the same thing and they gave it all up. Just don't right, get greedy yeah. on a, on the very short term. Don't get greedy. Don't don't be out there. But the whole thing is um, and I bring this up from time to time. Um, what is a good trader? Is a good trader that makes, let's say, three or five percent on 10 trades on a, in a row and then loses maybe 20 uh, percent on one trade or 10% on one trade or a guy that loses nine times in a row, but then makes uh 2000% on his trade. Who's right. the better trader? Yeah, exactly. You're right. Right. So you can, the, if you the can, more, the more you trade, the more little tiny losses you're going to take. I mean, you know, this is my, this is the way I see it. The, the, I like either, you know, options are going to expire in 24 hours or options that are going to expire in, in two weeks to, to a month. That's kind of what okay. I'm either doing one or the other. My odds right. in the meantime are either I'm too uh, I'm not short or long long enough midterm, and then the risk reward. So you make uh, 100 or 150 percent when you're right or 200 percent. I need to make about 400 or 500 uh, percent, and then just be right about half the time. And there that's kind of my makes, model. Makes total out there. sense. Makes total yeah, and, sense. Yeah, and a lot of people, I, they think that they're the Miami Dolphins from 1973 where they're going to win 16 games in a row. <laughs> right. it, it don't no. happen. It, it doesn't happen in options. You better have a strategy that sets you up for losing a great deal when you play with options. And, of course, as I said, the best thing to do is be able to lose a little bit and maybe make a lot. Now, it doesn't happen all the time, but right. when you see something very stretched on a Friday afternoon and you can get in and out fairly quickly, you know you're going to be in front of the screen and you have the ability not to get greedy. Sell when you right. can. Sell when you can because right. that 4 o'clock time is Wait. coming. It's coming. It's, I had, it's coming to get I you. Had the, uh, I, had, I had the TQs uh, all day yesterday, and because we – Closed almost right at the high yesterday. I, I, I was going to close them out, so I, I should probably go ahead and grab. Whenever you have that little voice there, you, you know you should probably go ahead and do. You should, you, then you probably should do that. But because we closed almost at the highs, I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't take the money and run, and so I, I naturally I gave. I gave some of it back this morning because we got down. But uh, yeah. But, so that's uh, that's kind of my thing. If you really want to understand right. what I do, the first thing I do is say, read Fooled by Randomness. If you haven't read that right. book, if you haven't read that book, you don't understand why Kathy Woods was destined to fail and why 
huge amounts of, uh, of a risk reward are necessary. We'll be back after this. Right. All right. Appreciate it. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Someone bringing up Monty Python. Bring out your dead. I'm not dead yet. You will be soon. Oh, I'm feeling better. No, you're not. <laughs> yep. There's nothing like that movie. And uh, very inspirational, too. Um, there was a beetle. And I'm not talking about an insect. I'm talking about one of the member of the Fab Four. Uh, who uh, bet his entire fortune on uh, on uh, coming out with that Monty Python movie uh, and ended up uh, making, I think, five times his initial investment on it. Um, not Ringo, not Paul. What is it? Uh, George Harrison. Yeah. Uh, he financed the entire thing and made like four or five times uh, the amount. And uh, all the guys in the troupe ended up making... I think like 10 or 15 million a piece back in the 80s. That was some real money. Uh, what was the name of which book? Somebody in the den asking a question. Uh, oh, The Meaning of Life? No, no, no. This was uh, the Search for the Holy Grail. No. Nope. Search for the Holy Grail, the first movie. Then they did the the uh, Life of Brian, and then the Meaning of Life. 
but uh, all great movies. I do digress into the close here. Uh, Tim, uh, Tom O'Brien will be back uh, shortly to take you into the close. Uh, we're kind of bouncing around here. 85% chance, not 100% chance. I'd never, there's no 100% chance I've ever found in the market. But a fairly good uh, chance that we test a low 4,100 uh, or 410 on the uh, spies here. Uh, we're so close. It's like a magnet kind of sucking us in. I don't know what's going to happen tonight. Maybe it takes another couple of days. Maybe we bounce. Maybe we don't. Um, one of the things you want to look for tonight is uh, General Motors. Uh, they're looking very forward to seeing uh, what General Motors is talking about, uh, about getting chips to build their cars. That may be even bigger than uh, Microsoft. Uh, so when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. <laughs>